Hey, what's up everybody? This is the Withings or Nokia smart-ish watch. It's called the Steel HR. What I like the most about it is its style. Let's talk about watches for a second. You in? I don't know if you've ever experienced it, but it's, it's a possibility to have a watch that just doesn't quite fit you, doesn't feel right on you. Sometimes it can be really big. Have you seen these really big watches? I have kind of a dainty, I have a dainty little wrist. You know, it's like five and a half, just standard size wrist. Uh, and oftentimes I will see a large wrist, a large watch on my wrist and it looks, it looks like I'm trying to like be a character in a movie about like Italian rich people. Maybe you know the same sort of feeling, but what I've discovered is the little white faced watch, specifically with a leather band. This is not the first watch I've had like this, smaller white face with a leather band. And I find it to be just my favorite look by a long shot compared to any other watch that I wear. It seems to be both humble and professional and it just kind of stylistically churches up whatever outfit I'm wearing. And this is my favorite right now because it's not very expensive. It comes in around 200 bucks, but everything feels really quality on it, especially when you upgrade for the leather band. It typically comes with a silicon band, which is great for, you know, doing exercise and stuff because it does have a heart rate monitor built in and a lot of fitness tracking stuff, which we'll talk about in a moment. But for $200 to have a nice, small, white face watch that feels quality. I know there's white, there's white face, cheaper watches out there. You can get things that are so much more affordable, I'm sure just kind of like Amazon prime it straight to your door. But what I'm interested in is putting on something every day and not, not feeling like it's, not feeling like it's really crap. Do you know the feeling of like having something nice in your life? I really, for me, I'm just done having cheap watches. This is $200. That's still a cheap watch. Don't get me wrong. There are things about this you will look at when you look closely that to the discerning sort of design enthusiast might go like, oh, that bevel on the little hands looks like it's kind of cheap. And it, it kind of does. But that's when I'm at my most persnickety. What I really love about this is I can throw it on with any outfit and I feel like it just like, <laughs> I just churched it up a little bit. So it's my favorite for three reasons. Number one, we've talked about how clean and nice it looks, even though it has this little black hole on it, which I haven't even told you about. It's, it's that's a little screen where you can kind of flip through activities and see your heart rate and stuff like that. I thought when I was looking at it online that that little <laughs> black hole right in the center of my watch face is gonna be like, is that weird? And I don't know, I actually like it now. I think it makes it feel a little curious. So I like it because it's clean and stylish. I also like it because it's quality, especially this leather strap. And like just the look on this leather strap where we have this white stitching all around, it's just chunky enough. For example, comparing that with a Boulder watch, which this company sent me, I'm not hired to talk about them. I just liked wearing this watch also. It's just a bit bigger, a little more chunky aesthetic, a little more, I don't know, kind of a little more manly. Do you agree? Do you think it's like more manly? I'll put a link to this one below. A little more expensive, but it's made well and it's gonna last a long time. And it's just kind of got that like, a little more of a youthful vibe to it. Whereas this, this is like the kind of watch my grandpa would wear. My grandpa was like a USC engineer who was like, <laughs> worked at like a pulp mill, like managed and supervised some pulp mill. And he had a watch from USC that was just so like, just like, it was almost dainty. So it looks clean. I just like, I don't find a lot of small watches like this that still have a now kind of feel, which maybe that black hole offers that. As well as the nice little dial in the face, uh, like the little, that's your steps counter. The little one is like your steps. And like I said, the stitching on the leather, it just is, has enough detail. And I wanna accentuate this, that when you put it on and you, you touch the watch and you're moving around and using it, it does feel quality. It doesn't make you have that feeling of like, oh, I have to be careful, this is, Shit. But like I said, it is a smart-ish watch, okay? So there's the third reason why I like it is it actually enables a few technical features that I like. Two in specifics. Number one, 
I get notifications, the ones that I want on here. And I've noticed that getting little buzz and seeing like the name of the person I'm getting a text message in the first, I don't know, maybe 50 or 80 characters of their text message. I find that a lot of times I just do this little thing as it comes in and I don't have to pick up my phone. It just saves me from that. As a full-time creative professional, I am uh, constantly trying to find ways to leave this somewhere. <laughs> like to leave it on the edge of my desk and then I go downstairs to fill up my water bottle, the Camelback Shoot, which is still my favorite water bottle. I'll put a link in the description below. And I've noticed that things will come through on here on my phone that I, I kind of wish I didn't miss. Sometimes they're texts, most of the time it's calendar events. So on their app, I can go in and actually decide what notifications I want to include to get on my phone. Like I don't want to get Airbnb or Asana or Dropbox, but I do want to get my messages, phone calls, and my calendar events. A huge piece of advice there that I've heard from <laughs> digital professionals for a very long time, be very, very, very careful with your notifications. If you wanna change your life, turn off all your notifications in any way for things to come to you. And then slowly, slowly add it back in. It's like, uh, it's like doing an elimination diet. So the first tech feature it does that I actually find is useful is the notifications are useful. I will, I have not missed calendar events. I have not missed, uh, you know, important phone calls I actually didn't want to miss just because my phone was on the other side of the room. I've even been downstairs, gotten a notification, run upstairs to grab the phone call before it's over. You know, I had an Apple iWatch for a little while that my father gave me and I, I just, I couldn't find, it's like it does so much I couldn't feel good about using any of it. Like I was just checking, am I gonna use this for Twitter? Like, no, let's just go back to here. Like, so I'm gonna use this to send like my heart rate to someone. I think I can even do that on my phone. So it was just, it just, started to be like, I didn't like the look. I wanted a watch, not like a, not like a, a pocket calculator, you know? Then the second tech thing that it does, and it just does it okay, is it will track your heart rate. If you aren't currently tracking your heart rate, I guarantee you'll learn something. You'll be like, damn, I'm constantly in that 73 range. That seems a little high or a little low or whatever, right? You might, you might, <laughs> you might, just find out something about yourself that is just this raw, visceral data feedback. It's, it, it can be surprising sometimes. But I have to clarify one thing. It shows us our heart rate, but it does not give us any way to compute or to discover or see our heart rate variability, which is a data that that is a lot more functional we're finding out. You can, for instance, by knowing your heart rate variability in the morning, you can like great, like expert athletes and trainers, they can tell you exactly what you should focus on today. If you should rest more, if you should exercise harder, if you should go into this kind of exercise or that kind of heart rate or exercise rather, just based off of your heart rate variability, which is not your heart rate. So it would be really cool to have that kind of functionality in here just because that's an actually seriously useful value that you can get a lot of, of, of insight about peak performance, right? You know, so much of my life is not just about surviving. It's actually about operating at peak performance. I think a watch is a very interesting totem in our life about that. I have friends that have like pictures of the, the timepiece they want to have like when they grow up on in their closet as like a little, uh, like a, a vision board almost, right? Because some of these watches cost a lot of money. This one doesn't, <laughs> this is $200 and, uh, and it has like a screen on it and it's like does some functional stuff but it mostly just looks really good. And even at $200, it's been enough of a, piece in my life to where like, I want to make sure I have it on. Why? This is actually a symbol to me of the promises that I have like with the rest of the world. I've used that word totem a few times and totem is kind of like, it's an artifact that symbolizes something to you. It might symbolize something about your world or it might symbolize something about your life, where you've come from, what you've gone through, or it might symbolize something about yourself, how you conceive of yourself. You probably already have a watch somewhere 
that you can mentally sort of like apply, like you're putting like a sticker <laughs> on it. That it's like the sticker on your ID that's like blood donor. Like, but like it's like a it's like a mental cosmic sticker on your watch that says like I care about my life. I'm gonna show up on time to things because I respect other people. I expect to be treated with respect. That's my preferred mode of interaction. I'll decide to do the same with others. And I know a lot of you want to take the totem thing and just apply it directly to the like the Lambo that you want to get at some point, like, you know, no bad, but but <laughs> we could also focus on the richness of our relationships and interactions in the world. So I like this little watch, even though I can't tell if it's from Withings or Nokia. Mine says Withings, some say Nokia, I think. It has a lot more features than I use. All of the techie sort of stuff you can learn about, but I don't find it to be very useful. The heart rate, and the notifications are plenty for me to feel like I'm actually getting a bit of an upgrade in my life. But more than anything, it has a sort of a classy, sophisticated look. I like it because it's classy, white face, it's simple, it's playful too. It's not so self-serious. It's not like a pointy dress shoe. I like the classy look aesthetics of it. I also like the classy feel of it. It feels like quality, especially this leather strap, which I'll put a link to below. Highly recommend you go for the leather strap if you go for this watch. I will also put a link below to this Boulder watch, which some of you should look into, especially you with larger wrists. It's a great, cause I mean, I think it comes in like 300 something bucks or maybe 400, I don't know. So uh, it's not the cheapest thing, but it's it's a great price point to get into something that's like really well made. It's gonna last you a really long time. I think they'll have a great warranty and stuff like that. Check it out for yourself. Um, but this isn't too, too crazy big. And I've noticed sometimes that I, I like, I've been looking at this going like, huh, maybe I want, maybe I want, maybe I'm ready to upgrade a little bit. But for now, I like this. It's not gonna be your timepiece that you give to your grandchild when, you know, they're like on their 18th birthday or when they graduate college or something like that. But at the same time, <laughs> You don't have to go spend a bunch of money buying something like that or a bunch of time and energy researching like which one should you get. I personally have a lot more to learn about timepieces and watches and all this stuff. I can tell there's something in it that will be like, you know, I'll probably I could probably get into, but it also reminds me of like hi-fi audio where you could just tell it's such a slippery slope. And within a matter of months, you're literally speaking a different language. <laughs> and your wife is just like, what? No, it costs way too much. I'll put links to everything you need below. If you're new to me and this channel, please subscribe if you're interested in conscious consumerism, well-designed products, having things in your life that actually change your life instead of just things you waste money on. I've also updated some lists at the website, lists of the best daily carry bags, list of the best travel bags, list of the best bags for work and commuters, business people who need to, you know, get their TPS reports signed off on. I'll put a link to that below. Check out the website and the new lists. And also while you're there, get on the email list because we do giveaways and we gave away thousands of dollars worth of gear just last month. So, you know, why not get on the email list? There's never spam. I'm a professional. God damn it. And we might do more fun stuff on the email list in the future, like get discounts on bags, discounts on products. Who knows, we'll see, okay? So that's it, the Withings watch, the Steel HR, which as far as, as far as, you know, techie smart watches for sure, this thing's in a class of its own because it's the only thing that's designed to be a watch, to be just like a, a classy gentleman's watch. Like I'm not, you know, trying to prove to you how like seriously successful I am. I don't t hold my hands like this when I'm talking to you, when I'm saying like, it's interesting you should say that. What are your goals? Do you know by what KPIs you will measure them? I don't have to pretend to be somebody. I can put on a nice thing that's made well, that's built with like, it's got some serious design chops in its own way and I can just apply it to my aesthetic and my frame. And now I'm doing my thing with a little tool that like, I think that helps me look a little bit more grown up. What do you use your watch for? I hope you find a good one. I'll put links below to everything. Talk to you guys later. Subscribe. See you later. Live your best life now. Sometimes your best life now <laughs> means you need to do a little crying and saying I'm sorry. <laughs> bye bye guys. Backworks.co jcreeves.net Those are the websites. I guess those are the websites. Yeah, yeah I guess so. Must, uh, hmm. Let's go check out what he's up to or something like that. Yeah, it looks nice.